Hi, everyone. Welcome. Thanks for joining tonight. We'll get started in about a minute. And while we're waiting, if everybody wants to say hi in the chat, so I can say hello back and where you're joining with us tonight. Getting everything set up. I hope everybody's having a great Thursday so far. All right, I can see everybody jumping on. It's nice to see a good crowd tonight. So I hope you're excited. <clears throat> Hello from Denver. Oh, we got a couple of Colorado, Highlands Ranch, Colorado. All right. Give everybody else about a minute to... Hello from Southern California. All right, out west a little bit. <laughs> so thank you all for joining. I'm sure we have some some Midwest people and some east Eastern side as well. But tonight is all about preparing your home for the holidays. Um, so we are we're in that season already. Isn't it amazing? How I thought it was just summer, and now all of a sudden. <laughs> It was fall and Halloween. Hello from Phoenix, East Tennessee. There we go. There we go. We got one east, uh, Eastern area a little bit. Um, we actually, a few members of our team um, were out in Nashville um, for the CMA Awards. We did a fun little event there um, where I created a few different perfume and cologne, cologne blends for people to freshen up um, at the, the party there. So that's pretty fun. But I am here with all of you. Um, so I wanted to make sure I wouldn't miss it. So I didn't get on a, a flight to Nashville, unfortunately, <laughs> but I am happy to be here with you tonight. So hello from Michigan. All right. Well, it's great to see you all. Thank you all for joining tonight. So to, we today we are all about um, preparing our home and for the holidays, for guests to come to our space. And essential oil can really help with that in many different ways, actually. Um, so we have a few recipes tonight that help us with those little areas of our life as we are inviting guests into our house. Um, so we are going to make a cleaning product, first of all, because that's a big part of preparing your house for guests for the holidays <clears throat> is want to, you know, you want to make sure it's a clean space for people to be in. And then we're going to create that warm holiday atmosphere with, of course, essential oils to make that holiday season and aroma really feel inspired for the holiday season. Um, you know, you kind of hear about sometimes People talk about being nose blind. Um, and so, you know, when we we want to have people have a great feeling when they're walking into your house and not kind of feel like they're smelling maybe the animals or the kids or, you know, whatever else is going on. <laughs> so they want to just maybe smell the cooking and you want to smell some good, maybe plant products um, with essential oils. So we're going to create a, a holiday room spray to help create an inviting aroma and atmosphere. And then our last recipe tonight is a holiday head soother, because that is also great to have on hand. As you're inviting people into your space, you're going to be busy. You're going to be doing a lot of stuff. Um, and you need a little moment of calm every once in a while and at the end of the evening as well to kind of um, rest and recuperate and um, be able to soothe their head <laughs> maybe the next day too if you had too much fun at your party. So those are the three recipes that we're going to go through tonight. Um, so let's get started. Again, feel free to uh, ask away any questions in the chat. It's actually just me tonight. The, the team is pretty busy this week, <laughs> so I'm running things solo. Um, let me actually put the first recipe into the chat so you can join along. So the first one we're gonna be making is that holiday purifying surface spray. 
So the ingredients that you'll need are, um, let me pull that up again. <laughs> You're going to need our blend of medieval mix. So that's the first uh, ingredient. You're gonna need a spray bottle. Um, a spray bottle of any kind, a 16 ounce spray bottle is um, ideal for this because you get eight ounces of water and eight ounces of vinegar. Um, and glass is more ideal. So you do uh, want to, if you have the ability to get a glass container, um, more ideal than even a clear glass like this is brown glass. So if you can find that at your local store, um, cause that just really helps to preserve the essential oil even more. Um, but glass specifically is great for essential oils because plastic can interact with certain essential oils and um, actually break down the plastic. We don't want that. Metal, again, can um, sort of have a, a reaction as well. Um, so glass is most ideal. Plastic can be okay, but um, you know, if you're having it in there a long time, it can kind of um, interact with the plastic and it's just not as ideal, but it can be okay. All right, spray bottle. And then, like I said, you'll need eight ounces of white vinegar or cleaning vinegar. Um, I just use the regular <clears throat> vinegar that you can get. So I already put eight ounces in here. Um, and then I have my distilled water off to the side. So eight ounces of distilled water. And I'm using distilled water again um, because you want to make sure to keep bacteria away as much as possible. So the distilled water helps with that, um, preventing bacteria growth. All right, so let's get started on making our holiday essential oil surface spray. So like I said, I have the vinegar in here already. So when we're making our DIY products, um, the least ideal carrier, um, when we talk about putting our essential oils into something, carrying it, um, is water. So when you're mixing a DIY product, if you have any other ingredient like a carrier oil or like vinegar or witch hazel, whatever you're putting your essential oils in, if there's water in it, but if there's another ingredient, you want to put it in that other ingredient first because water and oil do not mix together all that well. So um, pretty much every other substance, I would say, uh, mixes a little bit more easily with essential oils. So that's why we're putting the essential oil into our vinegar first. So it gives it a chance to incorporate a little bit more and then we'll add the water after. That's the most ideal way to do it. Um, but totally okay to add all the ingredients. You just wanna give it a thorough shake and we're gonna do that anyway when we're using it. Um, and so I actually forgot my teaspoon, um, but it calls for three teaspoons of the medieval mix. So <clears throat> let's talk about our Oracacia medieval mix first. Um, this is a really popular blend um, that actually quite a few other companies out there have similar blends to this. So this blend is sweet orange, it's lavender, lemon, it's red thyme, tea tree, eucalyptus, and rosemary. So if you'll, if you know a little bit about those different essential oils, especially red thyme, tea tree, eucalyptus, rosemary, um, even lemon, all of those have properties to be very purifying and cleansing. And people use uh, our medieval mix. It also has is known, um, and the blend can change a little bit um, slightly. Um, it's also known as Thieves. And there's another company that does actually, um, I believe copyright or trademark the Thieves name. So we can't use that version. That is why we call it medieval mix. So if you aren't, aren't familiar with the history of a thieves blend or a medieval mix blend, um, there was actually back in the, uh, let's see, it was the 1500s, 14, 1400s, 1500s, there was the plague. And there were actually a group of robbers that would 
uh, put on a bunch of essential oils and herbs to protect themselves from the plague. And then they would go and steal from people <laughs> that were unfortunately affected by the plague. Um, but it was very successful um, in helping to protect them and keep healthy. And so that blend became more popular over the years um, for not stealing from other people, but for actually protecting <laughs> yourself from um, maybe not the plague, but other things out there during, especially the holiday season when we're seeing a lot more people. So this surface spray can really help, especially the vinegar in there, that property is really gonna help with that. And then the essential oils really just give it that boost of that cleansing and purifying action. So it calls for three teaspoons of that. So I guess I'm gonna eyeball it tonight. Um, so we'll do just three of that. So we actually have another sort of medieval mix like blend um, and it is called Rescue Charm. So I wanted to show that as well. Rescue Charm is also found in our Purify Kit. Um, so if you wanna pick up a whole kit, it's four different essential oils. There's Tea Tree, there's Rescue Charm, Eucalyptus, or is it Eucalyptus, I believe, and our Purify Blend as well, which is another one of my favorites, but it has Rescue Charm in there, which is Rosemary, Lavender, Tea Tree, Eucalyptus, and Cinnamon Leaf. Um, so if you really like that cinnamon aroma, you might want to pick up the Rescue Charm. Now, if you want to make this more of a holiday-like aroma um, with a medieval mix, you can also add a little bit of clove bud or the cinnamon leaf. And then you get that nice, warm spice aroma with your cleaning as well. So let's give this a good little stir to mix this around. Hello from Iowa. Good to see you. Thanks for joining class tonight. All right. And hopefully you can see that. I got to lift that up a little bit. Now we're just going to add our eight ounces of water to that mix. Okay. And it's as easy as that. So pretty amazing how you can make a very purifying blend. Um, to clean your whole space before the holiday season and you have lots of guests coming through. Um, so it's great to clean all the surfaces, especially the high touch surfaces, light switches, door handles, the bathroom, the kitchen. Um, and especially, you know, out in the news, I've seen quite a few um, food recalls happening. Hello from Massachusetts, thanks for joining. Um, but there's a lot of food recalls lately with like foodborne illness and things. So, you know, helping to prevent that, especially in your home, um, you definitely want to keep the surfaces clean, clean and clear. Um, so keep this handy, um, especially if you're doing more food prepping and all of that as well. So um, I definitely, yeah, all the faucets and things too that you don't even realize while you're cooking like the, the things you're touching. Um, so washing your hands, I definitely recommend that. Um, but that's another thing for either a rescue charm or medieval mix. Um, so not only you can make a great little cleaning spray as easy as we just did, <clears throat> you can also add medieval mix to soap. Um, so give it that cleansing boost. Um, even just making your own with Castile soap and um, even in a little foam dispenser so you can get kind of a pre-made one adding your medieval mix gives it a little boost you can diffuse it actually during you know while you're having guests over um, it's really nice to put it in a diffuser and then you kind of keep the air cleansed and then again you can either use some of that rescue charm um, to have a little bit of that cinnamon and warm aroma while you're diffusing or adding the clove bud and cinnamon um, <clears throat> so yeah, really great blend for the holiday season to keep on hand to keep us all a little more protected and, um, your space a little more purified. Also great for hand sanitizer. So if you're going to somebody else's house, um, 
definitely bring this in your purse with you. <laughs> I recommend, um, and you can even in a pinch, um, you can make, you know, um, aloe vera with medieval mix. Um, you can kind of make your own little hand sanitizer if you don't have the alcohol um, spray, but it's nice to add it to your hand sanitizer as well. So keep that handy all holiday season long. All right, so we cleaned our space. That's a part of preparing for guests. Now we really want to create that inviting atmosphere. So we're going to make our second recipe, <clears throat> which is our comfort and joy holiday air freshener. So we're getting a little Christmassy, not quite yet. I don't know if anybody is, um, is full on Christmas, you know, or full on holiday <laughs> season yet, or if they're waiting for Thanksgiving, um, you know, whatever boat you're in, we, we welcome everybody's <laughs> holiday spirit or lack thereof. That's okay. Um, but yes, comfort and joy holiday air freshener is next. Um, so the ingredients that we'll need for that is a two ounce spray bottle. Um, so you could make it in a larger form like we did with the cleaning spray. If you have larger bottles around, we also have this size uh, available on oracacia.com and um, a lot of times at your local co-op or grocery store as well. <clears throat> so you'll also need three essential oils for this. And I already mentioned a couple of them. So clove bud, cinnamon leaf, and your sweet orange. So these are just three really great aromas that remind you of the holiday season. Um, and so this is really all fall, all fall and winter, getting into winter a little bit. Um, we really love those warming oils. Um, so the warming oils, those spice oils are like clove bud and cinnamon. And just when you walk into somebody's space, even actually a lot of stores, you'll notice um, as you're walking into stores, sometimes they have that cinnamon-like aroma <clears throat> because I think it's been studied that uh, smells like cinnamon and vanilla put us in, you know, a nice comforted uh, feeling and make us want to stay in the store longer and even shop and spend more money. So it's all very subtle <laughs> when it comes to stores, but uh, it might be nice for creating a really lovely, warm and welcome space in your house as well. Um, so people might wanna, maybe they'll wanna hang out a little too long though. You might have to put a tea tree in there after so long if people are extending their welcome. <laughs> but right now we want to welcome people into our space and um, make a really nice aroma for people. So we are going to use our sweet orange first. <clears throat> So I actually, again, I put distilled water already in my two ounce container. So you fill it pretty much to the top. Essential oils don't add too much to it, but um, I add it to about the top of the label on mine. Um, and then again, like I said, um, it's better to add something to just water if you can. Um, so this is vegetable glycerin. And I would just recommend adding a tiny bit of the vegetable glycerin. It really helps to mix the essential oils together a little bit more with the water. It also acts as a mild preservative. Um, and so that's great for using vegetable glycerin as well. So definitely recommend picking that up if you're making your own room sprays. This would also make a lovely host gift. So if you're going to somebody else's place, I love to bring something um, that might be, you know, if you bake some cookies and then make a, a room spray um, or even just bring the room spray. It's really nice to kind of have a, you know, a homemade little um, thoughtful guest or sorry, host, a hostess gift um, is what they called it. So 16 drops of sweet orange. All right, and then next we are adding 10 drops of our cinnamon leaves. 
So cinnamon leaf, it actually comes from the leaf of the cinnamon tree versus the wood. We also sell the wood, cassia. Um, but cinnamon, the leaf actually has a really strong aroma of that cinnamon aroma. <laughs> so it's pretty amazing um, how even in just the leaf, you get that really beautiful cinnamon aroma. And there's 10 drops of our cinnamon leaf. Yes, how much glycerin to add to the two ounce bottle? I recommend even just a teaspoon. You don't wanna add maybe too much because then it can clog up your sprayer, um, but just enough to kind of get that mixed together. So about a teaspoon. You could do up to a tablespoon, I would say, but not more than that. Great question. Um, and then 10 drops of our clove bud. Oh, I know, I wish I had smell-o-vision where I, oh, and somebody said, yeah, I wish I could smell the sprays right now. <laughs> so you'll just have to make it exactly. Um, oh, and thank you for, she, she liked my, uh, or yes, liked my purple sweater, my lilac sweater. It goes with a uh, lavender and all the beautiful oils. <laughs> All right, so 10 drops of clove bud. Sorry if I'm not exact, I'm kind of doing multiple things at once. Um, all right. Yes, so clove bud right here. And we have our cinnamon leaf. So 10 drops each of clove bud and cinnamon leaf, and then 16 drops of sweet orange. So sweet orange really adds that brightness to the warming spice oils. It really helps to uplift the mood and the space. Um, and sweet orange is also a great deodorizer too. So that it's kind of a twofold thing. You're getting the aromatherapy benefit and that mood lift a little bit. And then um, you're kind of covering up some extra, any extra smells that maybe are happening <laughs> in your space. Um, and again, you just give it a good shake. And then yes, I wish I could give you all smell of vision so you can smell this beautiful aroma, but please make it at home and um, invite your guests in or make it as like a host gift. I think it would be really special and it's super easy and it smells amazing. So this is a great alternative to making a simmer pot. It's nice to have maybe a simmer pot or the diffuser going with this exact blend of oils. You maybe don't want to add so many um, drops to the diffuser. I would say probably cut it in half. Um, so five drops, five drops of cinnamon and, and clove, and then eight drops of sweet orange in the diffuser if you wanted to do a diffuser recipe. Um, so you could have that going. You could put it in the simmer pot in just like a pot of boiling water, cut up some oranges, uh, maybe a couple of cinnamon sticks in there. Um, you could have that cooking. But then just spray this throughout your space um, right before guests come through. Spray it onto couch cushions and the little decor pillows, maybe onto your mat outside so they even get that aroma as they're walking up to your steps in your space. Um, this would also be great in the bathroom or if you have guests staying overnight, having that nice, cozy, warm um, aroma of the holiday season where they're staying might be um, a nice little uh, touch to your guest rooms as well. So lots of different ways to use the holiday room spray. You could also add it on to your holiday decor. So maybe you have some pine cones or like a cornucopia um, for your Thanksgiving table. Maybe you already have the all the holiday decor. Uh, maybe you celebrate the solstice and you have a Yule log. And so you want to spray down your um, decorations or your Christmas tree. Um, it, so you can really spray this onto many things or if you're wrapping gifts or even sending your holiday cards. Um, so spraying the envelopes with a little bit of a of holiday aroma. So when they open your letter, they get that uh, beautiful aroma. That might be a fun little touch um, if you're sending off your holiday cards. 
So lots of different ideas, but you can spray it on wrapping paper as well and little ribbons and things. So, and if you have a different favorite aroma, I love pine during this time of year. Um, so I think I think of uh, pine as one of my favorite holiday aromas, but peppermint, and then of course all the warming oils to just make everybody feel very cozy. Okay, so let's look over the questions. So in a diffuser, you wanna follow your, I'm assuming you're asking specifically for um, diffusion for 10 drops. Um, you want to follow your specific diffuser recipe, um, but typically I would say for a diffuser this size, I usually go to about 10 to 15 drops, especially if it's a large space. Um, so if it's a big dining room space or a big living room space, um, I usually do closer to the 12 to 15 drops. Um, and that's total drops. So if you have something like the three oils together, that would be, it was that would be 18 drops total, but uh, the sweet orange, I do a little bit more because citrus oils, I just love so much. Um, and then this, you know, you could actually do a little bit less of the spice because spice oil can be quite intense or strong. Um, so you could do three to four drops each even, and then five to eight drops of the sweet orange. And that gets you in that good range. But you know, really it's it's based off of the aroma strength that you would like, based off of the room that you're in, um, and also the essential oils that you're using. So again, if you're using something like a, a citrus or a lavender, go ahead and use those 15 drops. If you're doing something like the clove bud, you don't wanna use 15 drops of clove bud, and <laughs> that would be quite intense. Um, so just a few drops of the clove bud will be plenty of um, aroma. So follow your nose. That's a good indicator typically. Um, but also we have lots of diffusion recipes on oracacia.com. So if you have a, an essential oil you want to diffuse or make into a blend, definitely go to our recipe pages. Um, and we have different tabs. So you can click on lavender or you can click on... Um, diffusion, or you can type both of those into a recipe and see which ones pop up and maybe you'll get some other fun ideas for that as well. So great question. Okay, so after we've created this warm, inviting space, we've had our fun, <laughs> maybe we're feeling like our head is a little overwhelmed and we need that moment of calm, maybe the next day, um, we're not feeling so bright. So we need a little bit of a head soother. So this is our last recipe of the evening um, is our holiday head soother. So I'll put that into the chat. And get started on that recipe. So what you'll need for that is two teaspoons of jojoba oil, which is our carrier oil. Um, and a roll-on container. So I actually added the jojoba already just to make it a little bit easier, but you wanna fill it up to, again, about the top, um, but leave just a little space for our essential oils. And the essential oils that we're gonna be using tonight in our holiday head soother is frankincense. Um, and this is the frankincense ready to use, which has already been diluted in jojoba. Um, so you could use the undiluted version or the pre-diluted. Um, so the pre-diluted calls for seven drops. If you do the undiluted frankincense, you again want to maybe cut that in half um, or even less because um, we're already doing a few drops of our other. Um, so and again, essential oils are very concentrated, so a little goes a long way. Okay, so and then we have our frankincense and then peppermint is our other essential oil. And our third essential oil is lavender. All right, so let's add those. Um, so again, two teaspoons about of jojoba oil or whichever carrier oil you have at home or prefer. 
Um, uh, coconut oil, I love fractionated coconut oil for my roll-ons. Grape seed oil, sweet almond, lots of great choices for a carrier oil. Um, and then we're going to add our frankincense first. So seven drops of that, and it's a little bit more because it has already been diluted a little bit in that jojoba. Okay, frankincense is that beautiful woodsy aroma. It's actually the um, frankincense um, sap or the resin on the inside of the Boswellia sacra tree. And it's just this beautiful grounding oil that really helps to calm and soothe us, um, really soothe our emotions and calm us and get us focused and centered again. Because when you're seeing lots of people, you're maybe seeing lots of family, maybe there's some tension even happening that can sometimes happen during Thanksgiving and the holiday season, some family issues. Um, and you need to take a moment to yourself, definitely do that. Definitely take a walk outside after dinner or even before dinner, <laughs> it might be nice. Um, and take a moment for yourself, smell that aroma of frankincense especially to help ground you down and center you and know that you have your peaceful space, um, even if everybody else is going a little you know, crazy around you. <laughs> So essential oils can really help with that too. Um, all right, so our frankincense, very helpful for grounding us down. The peppermint in here can actually help uh, invigorate us a little bit more. So if you just, you know, the frankincense can help soothe you, um, but the peppermint also is very soothing, but in, an, in a way to help invigorate and refresh you. Um, so, if you really need kind of a little pep in your step, um, we're adding two drops of peppermint to this. And a little, again, a little goes a long way. Um, but if you find that you need a little more pep, um, just add another drop or two of your peppermint. Um, and then the last one is lavender. So lavender, again, very famous for very calming and soothing. Um, for our emotions and just really helping us relax. And so that can be helpful, again, if you're seeing lots of people and you're feeling overwhelmed by that, or maybe your social battery has been drained a little bit. Um, lavender is nice to just calm, again, come back to yourself, take a breath, um, and begin again, because uh, we have a lot going on during the holiday season. So it's really important to help take care of yourself. So just a drop is all we need, but you can add a couple if you really love lavender. If you don't love lavender, you can definitely omit it or you can use a alternative. I love ylang ylang, has a lot of similar properties. Another one uh, would be bergamot. Um, so bergamot actually has a couple of the similar constituents as lavender, but it's a citrus oil but it adds a little bit of a floral and then an uplifting citrus to kind of, again, lift your mood a little bit while keeping you calm. So seven drops frankincense, two drops peppermint, one drop lavender, and shake it all up. And then we're just gonna roll it onto our wrists. So this is a great way to use it. Just keep it handy in your pocket or your purse. Um, when you're out or even when you're at home too, <laughs> you may need a moment to yourself and you can give it a, a nice smell and even just taking one breath. So if you're at your mid party and you're mid hosting and there's a lot going on and you're just already feeling drained because you've been cleaning and getting ready and cooking and doing all that. And you're like, I don't know if I can even keep up for the rest of the, the night. <laughs> And maybe do just a few breaths of your he holiday head soother. Um, roll it onto the wrist. I love to just add a drop just to the tip of my nose, and then you kind of get that subtle aroma. And then again, if you need the the head version of that, especially the next day, um, even in your third eye area, and I like to rub it into this is kind of like your sinuses all around here, but 
um, just your temples and just give it a nice massage. Um, and even behind your ears and like along your neck area, your pulse points um, just really help to invigorate with that peppermint. I already feel a little more ooh, uh, woken up a little bit. I love the peppermint and feeling refreshed. Um, but then the lavender and uh, frankincense can just really help you feel calm while refreshed. Um, so it really does quite a few different things all at once. So, and this is also a really great thing to have for guests as well. So maybe it's like a little parting gift. Um, so if you want to make a few of these ready to go. Um, so that's kind of a fun thing on their way out. Just remember your head soother for the next day. Um, or if they're staying the night, um, have this next to the bed um, so that they can use that um, to calm themselves in the evening and then to help the next morning when they're waking up. So different ideas for that, but this is especially for you. <laughs> so, all right. So these are the great recipes. Um, hopefully it gives you some ideas and inspiration for how you are um, welcoming guests for the holiday season and getting into that. Um, yeah, if anybody else wants to share your favorite aroma for the holiday, or if you have any other questions um, while you're wrapping up, thank you so much. Oh, well, blessings to all of you and your families as well. Thank you, that's very sweet. Um, we have lots of recipes. I actually wrote a blog on oracacia.com. It's called Prepping Your Home for the Holidays. Um, so we, of course, did a few of the recipes that I wrote in there, but there's some other great ideas. Um, so we have snickerdoodle room mist. So there's some fun aromas, um, other ideas on freshening up your space. We also have ready to use products. So if you don't, if you're not super into the DIY thing, um, maybe you like watching <laughs> me make the products, but maybe you're not so much into that. We also have ready to use room sprays um, and it makes it easy to just uh, freshen your space with that. So it's a nice big eight ounce bottle. Um, so that's one of our newer products. We also have toilet sprays, which I definitely recommend keeping handy if you're having guests over. Um, and, you know, that's a very high traffic area is the toilet room. Um, so keeping that, you know, you can even actually freshen up the toilet roll, spray a little of the toilet spray into that before guests arrive um, to just freshen up the space or in between guests. Um, and then also just lots of other ideas and recipes. So definitely check that blog out. Um, but thank you so much for joining and sharing in making these fun recipes. I hope you make them yourself. Let us know if you do. And um, so next month on December 12th is our next and final class of the year. Um, and that's gonna be holiday gifts. So we'll have some fun gift ideas um, and some other just, it's a very fun class. So I hope you join us for that. Again, all free. And you can watch this back. Yes, that was the other question. Um, all of our classes, our previous classes are on YouTube. So if you subscribe to Oracacia's YouTube channel, you'll get to see all of our previous classes. This will be up again um, in probably give us a couple days <laughs> to do that. Um, but this will be up as well on the YouTube channel to watch back. So you, once you can get all your ingredients, um, you can make it again along with me. So, all right. Thanks so much. Yes. I hope you join us. And, ooh, somebody's going on a cruise. Have fun. So happy holidays to all of you. Happy Thanksgiving. Um, and we will see you again soon.